Hello everyone and welcome back to Horse Haven! We are here in our UK ranch, which I am very, very, very excited about because it's so cute! And look at all of the little moss! There's moss all over the stones, there's flowers growing everywhere, and we have got some upgrades to show off! <gasps> yes! Okay, so I'm very excited. We don't have any horses over here, and you guys were quite adamant at telling me, Siri, there are new horses that you need to check out, new breeds, and it's kind of interesting because they didn't have an announcement anywhere about it, you know, like they normally do for all of their events. So I actually didn't know that there were new breeds of horse here at the UK Ranch. So we're going to be looking in at those guys in just a second. But without further ado, let's go ahead and clean up our paddock. I can't wait to get some new horses in here. Maybe we'll get some of those new breeds. I'm so excited. And dun dun dun! Look at this! Oh my gosh, they're so cute! All right, so this is the second upgrade to our little stables. And I have added in, it looks like you got a couple windows. You have some more flowers growing across everything. It looks like you have a little bit more stuff in front of the stable as well. So I added in uh, the second upgrade and then we've got like the third upgrade being worked on right now. So that'll be done in a long time. And then over here, we actually have Dun, dun, dun! The upgraded salad bars! So the salad factories, I think I'm just gonna call them like the salad houses or the salad bars. But we have it upgraded and now we can actually see what we can feed them. So there's turnip salad. So I was totally off. It was not beets and it was not radishes as many people estimated, like as many people were like guessing. It's turnips! So you can make turnip salad and that takes eight turnips and four honey. It takes about two hours and a half, two and a half hours to make. Look at all the flowers everywhere. I'm just so happy about that. And then over here is green salad. And look at this one, you guys. Oh my gosh. You have to actually use green feed to make green salad. That is going to be so hard. So I'm really blown away that that one even exists. And then we can't quite check out the red salad, the pumpkin salad, and the fruit salad just yet. But I'm going to guess the fruit salad's going to ask for like the fruit jam or something like that from the German ranch. So we're going to need to keep our eyes peeled for that for sure. All right, then we have a few more of the little salad bars, as I'm going to call them, down here. I cleared out this area away with the trees, and I opened this up. And we're going to put down, I'm hoping for like some benches or picnic tables, if such a thing exists. I don't think I've ever used them before. I'm pretty sure there's a wooden picnic table. So we're going to look for those and we're going to kind of like make a little salad bar area down here. And I kind of want to clear out like just a far corner in the back over here and make a stone hinge out of the stone. So that might be something we do in the future too. But our fields have been upgraded as well. So let me go ahead and show you guys what we've got. Dun dun dun! So all of our fields have the plastic put down so that they can grow some lettuce, which would be so exciting. But we are working on upgrading them so they can grow strawberries. This one is now up high enough that we can get some strawberries grown. Uh, if we want it to grow pumpkins, oof, man, look at that price. So if we want it to grow pumpkins, it's going to be quite a bit more. But I think I'm going to go ahead and just get started on strawberries. Let's get started on the lettuce for now. So I'm just gonna get started on those guys. How long does it take? It doesn't really say how long it takes the beets to grow. Okay, it takes about 30 minutes, half an hour for the beets to grow. So I'm just gonna get a whole bunch, or excuse me, the turnips. I'm gonna get a whole bunch of turnips in and then we have our adorable little lettuce, which I really love. So we are working on adding things over here. And then new horses. So I wonder if the Horsepedia is going to show me the new horses. Um, the problem is I don't remember like which ones would- Aha! The Shire! No wonder you guys were so excited! I know so many of you absolutely adore Shires! I hear about them all the time in our comments for all of our horse related videos. So that must make a lot of you very, very thrilled. So we have our Shire horse, and then there's a Dutch harness and an Irish sport, or a trotter and a dull hearse, or a dull hearse and an Irish sport. So we'll have to see if we can dig up a couple of those horses and send them over here so we can try to breed up for a Shire. That would be very fun. And then who else? <gasps> the Clydesdale. Oh, and you need a Shire for that. Okay, so our goal is going to be to try to breed for a Shire. So we're going to go see if we can dig out a Dutch Hornet, or a Dutch Hornet, a Dutch <laughs> Harness, I'm thinking horse, uh, Irish Sport, Dolhurst, or Trotter. So let's go see if we can find some of those horses. And we also need to take care of several things back over at our ranches. Because we have, I forgot to even check like the high breeders last time. We have to breed up a few of our horses. So let's pop over to the German ranch. Which is just about ready to start for some other breeding, some other breeding challenges that we were going to take on. So yeah, German ranch is nice and peaceful. 
Oh, we've got a sapphire to collect. Thank you very much, mini mine. Let's go ahead and clear out these cherries. There we go. There, see, everything is so quiet. Like after that jaunty tune over in the UK, it's just like nice and sedate, almost like it's a little carousel here in the German ranch. Oh, speaking of carousels, we should go see what is for sale at the carousel today because that would be pretty fun. I'm so excited about the new, the new plants, by the way. I'm just, I'm thrilled. Can I put down a new, can I put down a new grape? No, you can only have a few grapevines. All right. Um, what's something? Oh, <gasps> you guys, we should get the stone piles from the German ranch and put them up at the at the UK ranch. That would be so cool. I'm going to just grab a few of the stone piles. No idea, like, exactly what I would use them for over there just yet. But whenever I read James Harriet and he talks about, like, living in the more wildlands of the UK, it always makes me think about the stone fences he would describe that the farmers would make uh, over generations and generations when they would just dick up stones in their, their fields. They would just start piling them up, making these stone walls. And so many of you were so excited to see that the UK ranch is open because you are from the UK. So that was quite thrilling as well. All right, so we put the little stone piles away and I'll grab a couple more. And we're gonna haul stones from Germany all the way up to the UK, why not? And then we'll have to see what we can do with them over there. So yeah, and then you know what? We might do a random breeding with our horses here. Uh, we'll just go visit some friends. Oh, there's the cute mushrooms. <gasps> How have I not put, oh yeah, see there's like the stump table and the stump benches. Um, and then we'll have to see if there's other stuff. How have I not put these mushrooms down everywhere? What am I doing? Clearly Siri has been way too busy and she has not been decorating as she should to make sure that we can have all of this cute stuff everywhere. I'm like stunned at how much I have been missing. I mean, there's little gnomes we could be hiding all over the place too. Look at the little stone garden gnomes. That would be perfect for like a place like this. All right, I'm gonna put one like right in front of here. And then I kind of want to put something down where we have the missing, like there should be like a grape thing. In fact, I wonder, oh, I can't move it right now. I kind of want to move one of the grape things away. And then I sort of want to put down like a whole bunch of, of uh, clovers or something in between our little grape furrows there. Because we want to make sure this area looks nice. This is our way of showing off that we really care about our horses. Like maybe put the gravel road down in between all of the grapes. Hmm, I do like this gravel road. It actually looks pretty nice. So I could work on that. That might be something I'll do later because it takes forever to methodically and slowly put down all of this gravel. <laughs> See what I mean? Like you just have to go one. No, I don't want a flag. You just have to go one at a time and then you can wiggle your way up. So yeah, I might put down some of this gravel. Maybe here, little gnome, you can have some gravel next to you too. Maybe some flowers in between the little factory where we're making all of our fruit mixes. All right, there we go. That's probably good enough. Yeah, so I'm gonna work on kind of decorating all of the ranches too, um, just cause it's a good idea. Yeah, that's right. Did you hear my horses neighing? They're like, yeah, you should do that, Siri. Decorate the area and show off how much you care about us. I totally will, horses, don't you guys worry. Maybe one more flower thing. One more different colored flower thing and then I'm gonna be happy. Whoop, there is a different colored flower thing. Come back, come back. It's a little hard blue flowers. Ooh, hmm. You know what? I'm gonna do it. There we go. Just put down a couple pearls for so those blue flowers. But yeah, decorating like this really helps to show off your skills and your dedication and what you love about Horse Haven. And that's one of the things I love when I visit your guys' ranches is getting to see what you create. So we're gonna try to get ahead of the game on that fruit salad thing and put in some fruit feed because I'm highly suspicious that we're going to need lots of fruit feed to make that little fruit salad. Aha! And that means we need to go get more apples. But before we get more apples, let's go ahead and maybe breed Corinne at random with one of our friends. Let's see. Ooh, there we go. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, look at that. We're just getting all sorts of quests for the new area. Harvest eight carrot pies. I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish that today. Uh, breed a horse in the Montana ranch. Let's go see if we can find a friend. I'm gonna close my eyes. Mew! Oh, wow. <laughs> it took us all the way to the bottom. Um, that might be too low for getting the kind of horses that we want. I'm thinking at least, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa there. Whoa there, whoa there, whoa there, whoa there. Okay, you, you can stop now. Help, help. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's visit this unknown at rank 32. Oh, and let's see if they've gotten their UK ranch taken care of yet. Not yet, not yet, but all right. So unknown at 32. 
we're gonna be jumping around their ranch and we'll see if we can bump into a horse we can try breeding Kareen with. Ooh, they happen to have- Oh, Kareen! If only, if only a tier 3 Dolhurst! Nice! Very nice. And then there's a little hackney. I wonder if they have another Dolhurst. I am such a sucker for the spotted horses. I just think they're so pretty. So I could totally see myself trying to breed up for one of them. Let's see. And here's beautiful horses. This is Ace, Dutch warm blood. Here's a Jutland. We don't really have any Jutlands kicking around right now. Maybe we'll breed clean with one of them. Let's check what's in the German ranch. Anything with spots. The next adult male with spots, no matter what it is. Ooh, what about you? <gasps> yes, Thor! All right, let's go ahead and breed with this Halflinger just because. Sometimes we'll just throw random horses together and see what happens. And ooh, let's actually put Sunny together with them because then it's spots. Oh wait, I don't want to use my special breeding horror just yet. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just don't want to use my breeding reward. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize I had it. I have to save that for constellation horses and all of that. Speaking of constellation horses, let's go over to France and let's take care of our constellation horses. I had so many disappointed people who were like, Siri, what are you doing? You didn't breed your constellation horses last time. And I didn't because I got so distracted, sidetracked, and excited about the update for the UK. I completely forgot to breed up our horses. I'm sorry about that, you guys. I try to do that every time. And we're also probably gonna need to keep an eye on honey. And I think the next thing we're gonna need to really focus on is getting the storage units 100% expanded. Because we're gonna probably end up with a lot going on. So we're gonna take 166 diamonds, got it. We're probably going to end up with a lot going on when it comes to um, just running into more food items now that we need to collect even more stuff to take care of our horses. All right, so, oh, I need more carrots. Okay, I'm gonna have to work on that in the background. Can I get some honey crunchies going? And then you, my friend, what am I gonna do for you? I need to sell you for diamonds soon, Amy. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and sell Amy for diamonds. I don't think I need to just yet, actually. I think I know what I'm gonna do. Okay, so Amy, you can go ahead and kick it up in the paddock with Kaylee, unknown and unknown. And then this little baby, Hello, peony! So this little baby will go ahead and feed up and raise for diamonds. And let's see if we can get her a sibling, a tier three or, or a tier two or hopefully even tier three sibling from our lovely breeding pair of Pisces, who I absolutely adore. Lucy, how are you? Let's go ahead and feed you up so that you can enjoy your delicious feed. There you go, sweetie. And then I'm going to go ahead. I try to feed them before we breed them because it just feels a little bit rude to be like, Hey, Apple, get back in that breeding box. So I do try to make sure they get a little bit of attention just in between things because it's how you interact and engage and enjoy the game that really can help you just enjoy everything more. Got to tell yourself stories, guys, or else you're going to get so bored so fast. All right. And the baby wants a little bit more food. Plus, even for the virtual animals, as a pixologist, you know this, it's good to go through the motions of making sure you're doing everything you can to have the intention of taking good care of them, because then it helps you take good care of your real animals. All right, so let's go ahead. Apple the second and the Lucy are two tier two Pisces. We're going to cross our fingers. There's the chance to get a higher horse tier. <sighs> Breeding event reward. All right, come to me. Nine percent. Pink! Go pink, 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 pink! Come on, pink! That's what we need! Please! No! Okay, we didn't get it this time, but that's alright, because we do have a new baby Pisces on the way, at least. So we will continue working on breeding up the Pisces over here. Let's see if we have enough carrots to feed this little one. Nope, sorry, Peony. You're gonna go out in the paddock now. That means you get to stretch your legs. Alright, with Anastasia, Felici, and Unknown. Alright, and then Starburn. Our level 15 Starburn, who has all diamond skills. We might break her out for a race pretty soon, because that would be exciting. All right, and then we're going to pop over here. And we are actually going to do something kind of fancy over here, my friends. We still have that constellation horse as a full stuck... <gasps> pumpkin salad! Pongo, that's not fair! I don't have access to pumpkin salad yet. Fooey, that's going to take me a little while to work my way up to... <laughs> That's really, it always really is kind of nutter butters when they start demanding food that you don't have the ability to give them yet. So we'll work on that. 
But I do want to breed up for another Gemini. So we need to work our way over to a bigger, like, or another Gemini, a female actually. But there's not enough room just yet. So what we're going to do, because we're also trying to breed, if you guys will recall, for the tier four. We've been trying so long now to try to get the, um, the tier four Arabian. And let's go ahead. All right. Anais, thank you so much for being amazing. You're finally level 10, so I can sell you for diamonds. Thank you so much. But yeah, we've been trying to get the tier 4 Arabian for so long, but the uh, Constellation Horse breeding has kind of clogged things up for a little while. So, oh yay, we got the new horse. Oh, yay, woohoo. All right, we'll put that out in a little bit. That makes me so excited. So we're going to move uh, Pongo, and I can't remember what I named you, lady. Athena, we're gonna move Pongo and Athena out to the German ranch and we're gonna actually try breeding them over there for the constellation horse because there's enough room in the German ranch. The UK ranch, we're gonna dig around and see if we can find All right, Athena and Pongo. And there you go, guys. Yeah, the UK ranch, we're gonna see if we can breed up for a Shire in. So that's gonna be really fun. How many of you guys already have a Shire? I hear a few of you just jumped on that as soon as you could because you were so excited. All right, and then let's go ahead and see. Night Candy, look, you're almost level 15. I love you, Night Candy. I am gonna miss it so much when we have our tier four breeding pair and we don't really, we're not really gonna focus on Night Candy anymore. I wonder if the tier four, breeding a tier four to a tier four has a higher chance of getting a tiered three, or if they just kind of keep it sort of low level So, Oh, <gasps> Nightshade, you leveled up. Oh gosh, Nightshade. I, I don't know what I want more, like the, the boost and stamina for you, the muffin or the diamonds. Those are all wonderful things. And the answer is the diamonds. Huzzah, thank you, Nightshade. That's gonna be extremely helpful. All right, we're gonna go ahead and feed her. Cause like I said, I always feel like it's a little bit more polite when you actually like feed your horses before you just shove them back in the breeding box. All right, so there's that. And then let's go ahead and see if we are going to get our beautiful tier four that we have been waiting for for so long. So pure breeding. All right, we don't have a boost this time. And we're going for that tiny sliver of pink as usual, you guys. It brings us back day after day. Nope, but we did get a tier two, so there we go. All right, we will have hope. We will hopefully have a beautiful tier two full born by tomorrow, so that's wonderful. And then we do have our wonderful little spotty Trelia, who's hanging out over here, just about ready to turn into a level ten and be sold for diamonds. Actually, can we can we get you there, Trelia? Because that would be pretty cool. And then we'll pop back over to our German ranch and we'll try breeding. Yeah, we'll try breeding Kareen or one of our other horses to anybody. We'll just pick somebody at random again. And then let's come over here. I'm kind of nervous now. I feel like I need to just stockpile a whole bunch of green feed. Do you guys get that feeling too? It's just like, oh my goodness, I know I'm gonna need that for stuff in the future. Um, can I get like a whole bunch of it? And then I know I'm getting low on my red feed. So, uh, okay, I need to get some grass. So I need to go ahead and, oh yeah, and I needed the carrots for another thing. There's always so much to do. It's really fun. Oh, and we still need to check the High Reader Society. All right, and let's go ahead and get more of these guys down. And then I think I need just a ton more carrots because I had to use a bunch of them. Do, 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 there we go. Phew, we're taking care of so many things. Oh, and then let's feed the baby Gemini. <laughs> Sorry, little guy. I didn't mean to get so distracted. And then let us see if we can find the horses. Look at those beautiful wings. That is just gorgeous. And the blue. Every time I say, this horse is my favorite, I end up finding a new one that I'm like, this one's my favorite. And I I, I feel like I feel like the Pisces is the pink ones. Are st and with the flowers are still my absolute favorite. But I am a sucker for the ones that are blue as well. I still think that the black ones with blue, the like Aquariuses, are probably my all-time favorite, though. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can find one of the horses listed that we need. Let's see, there's Willow, Bobby, Pura, Molly, Galaxy. <gasps> we seriously don't have a single one of the horses that we need to breed for the Shire? Oh my, what about in the market? Let's see, Australian Brumby. No, 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 no. Irish Sport. <gasps> we do need the Irish Sport. Okay, uh, should I buy that Irish Sport? Okay, we might have to buy that Irish Sport um, in order to try breeding up for the Shire because the Irish Sport is one of the ones that we need for the Shire. 
So, yeah, Irish sport, which we don't have any. I should have just noticed that. We don't have any Irish sports anymore. So we need Irish sport, and what else? A Dutch harness or a Dolhurst. So do I have one of those? So, Tron Dutch harness. I do have a Dutch harness. I think that's Primrose, actually. So I'm pretty sure Primrose is hiding somewhere. So then we're going to go ahead and buy the little Irish sport. So where are you, little buddy? Holy days. I would never spend that many diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> too much, too much, too much. All right, come here, little one. It is almost ever. Let's name him, um, let's name him Jimmy for now. That's a horrible name, so I need you guys to help me pick a different name. But there's Jimmy, and he can just kind of, we're going to take good care of him for just a second, and then we're going to transfer him to the UK, and then we're going to dig out, I think Primrose is hiding over in the French Ranch, and we're going to send her to the UK, and then, oh, pfft, already he wants stuff. He's like, oh, I'm going to, like, England? That's fine. He's ready to go. We, we just have to wait for a second for him to like pop out of there. All right. Well, Argo, you can have some more food. There you go. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful constellation horse. And actually, I should probably send this little one onward to, um, to the other ranches soon, but he's okay for now. All right. So let's move our little Irish sport over to the UK ranch. All right. Off you go, Jimmy. We'll rename you later. To like a more fitting name for where you're going to be living. And then let's pop over here to our German ranch. Wait, why did I go to the German ranch? Who knows? Oh, because we're going to do another breeding. That's right. And we're going to visit a friend at random really quickly. Meow! Anna, apparently. So let's see what Anna has. We'll start at her German ranch. And I kind of feel like either the first thing with spots that's a male. Um, ooh, wow. <gasps> ooh, wow! Ooh, that's a halflinger tier two. Beautiful, beautiful. Is this one a male? Oh, Regina. And then we've got a Taurus. And then we've got a halflinger male tier two. There we go. So we'll go ahead and have our beautiful do. All right, Anna. We're going to have our beautiful do Sunny try breeding with him. And we're just going to see what we get. So there's a chance of getting something new a Jotland or a halflinger or. Another trotter, so we're just gonna roll with it and we're just kind of diving in at random here because we're sort of Attempting to fill out the horsepedia and there's so many horses that I just need to work towards And sometimes it's fun just to breed at random because it's really hard to remember like hey if you cross X with Y you get Z uh, With all of the different horse breeds, so I like doing that at random now and then all right, but now that that is done We can go ahead and we can move on. Let's jump into the French ranch we're almost done. Hang in there, you guys. There's just so much to do all of a sudden. Jump into the French Ranch. I'm going to get some more pie put into the ovens and cross my fingers that I remember to actually harvest it up later. And then, let's see, maybe some more honey now that I've used up some honey. Let's see, do I have space? Yep, I've got space in my stable so that I can come over and find... Do, do, do. April! April is actually who we had. I knew we had like a special horse. And April, if you are watching this, you know I have the horse because I couldn't sell her because she's named after you. So I've had her all this time. There we go. So April is going to have her time to shine and hopefully have a Shire horse in the future. Phew! That was a lot of running around. Alright, anything else I can do right now? No, I don't think so. All right, so let's go back over to our UK ranch. Oh wait, let's do the High Breeder Society. And let's go ahead and check the tasks here. So we've got a couple more, couple more rubies. Any breed elite horse. So any breed elite horse, let's use Bailey. Bailey can do this. So the fashion show, Bailey's gonna enjoy that. The American Warm Blood, to be honest, I wouldn't mind being able to unlock the American Warm Blood. But I'm not sure if I want to. Oh, and Argo can come and be over here. That's adorable. So what do I need? I <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get that many sapphires, you guys. If we can hopefully earn enough diamonds next time we have, because there's only like 12 days left. Next time we have the Peer Breeder Society events, I really hope that I can just unlock all of the story abilities and we can just gather so many different coins because it's so useful to have those coins. I mean, look, we have 80 sapphires. That's pretty awesome. All right, so let's go back over to the UK and wrap things up, making sure everything's looking nice and tidy over here. And it is. Look at this. Can we can we harvest this? Nadine! <gasps> We can bring in a fresh harvest! Sigmund, help us out here, buddy! Oh my gosh, Nathaniel! Oh, everybody's helping to bring in the radish harvest. I, or not the radish, <laughs> the turnip harvest. I'm so happy. 
Isn't it just so cute? And there's just... Ah, uh, it's just so cute. Sorry about that. I got so excited. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. And it's just so adorable. So let's go ahead and we're going to gather those up. Apparently that completes a quest. Harvest eight turnips. Yay! Huge boost there. I guess I'm going to put down maybe some more turnips and some lettuce, I suppose. And then I'll have to like upgrade those later. And then we can actually get started on some turnip salads. Huzzah! That's so awesome, you guys. Okay, so we've got some salads coming up. We've got new horses coming in. We are upgrading things left and right. Hopefully we can start working on getting our Shire horse, which should be pretty awesome. I'm gonna increase basically everything's storage capacity. Oh, wow, got a lot of rewards. I'm going to try to upgrade our little house, even though you know me, I kind of love looking at the little houses when they're little. And yeah, all right, let's do the trivia challenge and then we'll be done for the day. In game, a purple stamp means that the horse is mystic. A red stamp means elite, yay! Oh, I got a whole bunch of granola bars. I used to love eating granola bars. Which horse breed is known for its colorful, colorful spotted pattern? <gasps> spotted? The Renee's? No, Appaloosa. <laughs> I was thinking like tiny spots, not big spots. Which food is unsafe for horses? Cherries. Potatoes. I learned things and lost out on the opportunity to get some pretty awesome foods. Then you can get some great stuff from the squid stand. You can do it multiple times a day too. But all right, you guys, and that is it for now. I am so excited. We have new horses. We have more attempts to breed up different horses. We have to watch our Gemini grow up and basically just enjoy the joy and beauty of looking at all of your ranches, going on races, and continuing to expand our horse haven awesomeness. And I cannot wait to expand our horse haven awesomeness into the zoo crafting farm side series that we're going to have where you guys are going to help breed the horses just like we do here in horse haven with special like chances of getting rare breeds and things like that it's going to be really awesome but all right i'll see you guys next time Bye bye